What motivated you to come up with this technique? Hyperopiac correction today is very limited. For low hyperopia, we can employ hyperopic LASIK or hyperopic PRK. However, when we are talking about hyperopia corrections of three diopters and more, uh, we have not many alternatives. Currently, phakic IOLs is the only alternative. However, hyperopic eyes have a shallow anterior chamber and therefore, in many cases, there's not space enough to implant such an ICL or anterior chamber IOL. And that's why we were looking for alternatives that can be used for hyperopia corrections up to eight diopters, uh, starting at three uh, diopters. What is the benefit of this procedure for surgeons and patients? You know, on, on a sudden we can uh, guarantee large optical zones of up to seven millimeter, which stay that way, do not regress with time, um, and we can offer corrections up to eight diopters without jeopardizing any optical benefit. In addition, and this is very important, this is a reversible procedure. If you do a hyperopic laser for five diopters and it turns out that the patient doesn't like it, you're in trouble. In the, in the case of like, you just remove the denticule and then the patient is as hyperopic as he was before. Could you explain the surgical procedure? Yeah, in essence, we, this is a two-step procedure. In the first step, we create a LASIK flap and implant a pre-prepared lenticule centered on the optical axis. The LASIK flap is closed over the lenticule. And at this point, the patient's hyperopia is corrected to a slight myopia. How long is the recovery? The recovery time is very comparable to any other recovery of a lamella cataplasty, which means that uh, a full vision is achieved after approximately one month. What are the follow-up procedures with your patients? The follow-up is very comparable to any cataplasty uh, follow-up which means that we are seeing the early postoperative follow-up within the first week, at least once or twice, and then we will see the patient on a monthly basis until we, we have a stabilization uh, in refraction as well as in corneal topography, because it doesn't make sense to do the next step of the like procedure, the laser step of that procedure, before we have a stable result. And after a while, as soon as we get reproducible corneal topography readings as well as refractions. We lift the flap again and do a refractive fine-tuning using the eczema laser on the lenticule. Finally, the flap is repositioned. How long does that tissue last? This is a lamella keratoplast and we know that the tissue lasts as long as the eye lasts because latest after 12 years the collagen is replaced by body-owned collagen and therefore this is indefinitely.